With inline quick suggestions, VS Code's IntelliSense will show up inline as you type. This is a more minimal presentation, and you might find that you prefer it to the standard suggest widget. Now, here I've turned them on, and if I'm completing a variable in this TypeScript file, for example, let's say I typed out RE, you can see that on the rest of the line, I have this faded out ghost text. Now, this is the current inline suggestion, so register theme participant. Again, this is the same IntelliSense that I'd get from the normal suggest widget, but now it is being shown inline instead. If I like this current suggestion, I can just hit tab, and I've gone and completed the rest of that word. Now, a few other notes about these inline quick suggestions. So again, these are being shown automatically as I'm typing. So if I type RE again, it just is going to show up automatically. I don't have to do anything. If I want to filter down the list, I can just keep typing. So I can say REM, for example. Now we have remove event listener. I can hit backspace, and then we're back to the original suggestion. You can also go and cycle through the current suggestions by using um, option or alt and then the square brackets. So I can go and cycle through the different suggestions using option, alt, and then the square brackets. Find something that I like. So I'll go forward here a little bit. And if I find the one that I like, again, I just hit tab and it goes and completes the current suggestion. Now I can also use these inline suggestions in concert with the normal suggest widget. So let's say I have an inline suggestion that I'd like, but I want to learn a little bit more about it. I can just go and hit control space to open up the normal suggest widget. And this will go and show the standard suggest widget, the full list of all suggestions at this position, along with the uh, full IntelliSense and type information down here. Now inline quick suggestions are disabled by default, but they're very easy to turn on and you can even control what context they're enabled in. To get started, I'm going to open up my settings with control comma or command comma on Mac and search for quick suggest. And I want the editor quick suggestion setting. This is an advanced setting, so I'll have to configure it in the settings JSON file. So I'll say edit in settings JSON. And here we can look at the current configuration. So the JSON object here means that I've gone and for other, which means code in this case, I've enabled inline suggestions. The different type of quick suggestions you can have are inline, which is what we've been looking at, off, which just disables quick suggestions, and then on, which uses the standard suggest widget. So I'll keep this as inline, and that's how we get the current behavior where the ghost text is showing inline, just as I go and type here. Again, you might find that you prefer this more minimal presentation, and you can always use the standard suggest widget when you need to. So that's a look at inline quick suggestions in VS Code.